Now, I want to take a moment tonight to talk about the new Arm Attack smart guns. Everyone knows the story about how New Jersey has this law that once the first smart gun is sold anywhere in the country, that all guns in the state of New Jersey have to become smart guns within three years. So there's a lot of pressure to not sell this gun in this country right now. And there's been a couple people that have tried, and they're kind of paying the price. And people talk to me about, well, what do you think about that? Do you think they should be able to sell it? Do you think they should be facing this backlash? What do you think of the gun itself? So I was going to make this video tonight to answer those questions. The first question really is, do I think these people have a right to sell this gun? If someone chooses to put it on their shelf and sell it, do they have a right to? Well, yeah, they have every right to. Now, them doing so is going to hurt a lot of people. It's going to harm the entire state of New Jersey. Uh, now, that's true, and there's no fighting against that, but I still support their right to do it. If someone does something that I think is wrong, but it's still legal, I mean, I can't tell them not to do something just because I personally think it's wrong. Now, that doesn't mean I don't think they should face the ramifications from their actions, because that's the second part of the question. Do I think they should be forced out of business by people that are angry and, you know, won't buy anything there anymore? Yeah, absolutely. I think that people should have the right to do that. They have the right to say, okay, you made an unpopular decision, so now you're not popular with us, and we're not going to do business with you. Now, I don't agree with the people that are sending death threats and stuff like that. That's not how you deal with your problems in the real world. That's not how adults deal with things. We don't threaten to kill people because we disagree with them. We try to speak reason with them. We scream at them. We yell at them. We have arguments. Hell, my family just talking is arguments. It's just the way it is. You know, we scream at each other. We yell at each other. We just argue. That's just the way we are. We're, you know, we're part Greek. So, you know, that's how adults deal with things. I don't even care if that's, you know, not the most mature thing in the world, but you don't threaten to kill people over stuff like this. But as far as saying, I'll never buy a product from you, I'll shame anybody that does buy a product from you, and I will curse your name till you go to the grave if you do this, everyone else has every right to do that. Because let's face it, this guy that was going to sell them and the person that probably ends up selling the first one, they're doing it for a reason. They're doing it for monetary gain. You know this company is probably willing to pay them quite a bit of money to sell the first one because they want to get their product on the market. So they're making a decision that they know is going to hurt people. Even though it's legal for them to make it, they know it's going to hurt people. They know it's going to hurt the laws. Now, I agree with changing the laws. One of the guys that was uh, going to sell the gun and decided not to said, we should be fighting the guys who make these laws. Well, he went too far and said we should be shooting those people. I don't agree with that either. He's just as bad as people that were threatening to kill him. But I do agree we should be changing the laws because once the laws were changed... I wouldn't have any problem with this. I see it as a new technology. I don't see it as a change or an evolution in guns. I think it's an addition to guns. Because if I answer the question of do I want one, do I like the gun, what do I think of the gun itself, God, do I want one. I think that they're awesome. If you've seen them, they're just they're like something that fell out of some sci-fi nerd's wet dream. I mean, they light up in the back. There's like a little light in the back. They just look super scientific. I mean, I'll put pictures of them up here, but they are amazing looking. I mean, like they are like the next best thing to having a Cylon walk next to you and protect you every day. They are super duper cool, and I would buy one in a minute. I think they're only available in like 22 right now, but if they made a 9mm of that gun, oh my God, I'd have one. I don't care if it is $1,800. I would sell two other guns to buy it. It is just amazing to me. I'm like, I'm a sci-fi nerd. That thing is amazing. Now, would I be the first person to buy one? No. I'm not going to put my own selfish interest in front of everybody else. I'm not going to say, well, just because I want one, screw everybody else that live in New Jersey. They can either like it or leave. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do something that I think is wrong, even though it's legal. But if they ever make it to where you can buy one without hurting people and it just becomes a common item, am I going to buy one? You bet your ass I'm going to buy one. That thing is super cool. Now, I'm not going to trust it for self-defense because the technology just isn't there. It's just not to where it's reliable enough to be something you trust your life to. But as far as being just something cool I want to own, they hit right on the mark with this gun.